You know what, man? The world is tough. It is. And if you're not going to be smart, it's better to be stupid and tough. You know? Yeah. I agree. I agree. That's good. That's the, you gotta be one or the other. You can't, you can't be neither. That's why. And it's gonna get worse. Like when shit hits the fan, that's how we're gonna lose a lot of people. Because in the world right now, you don't, you can be stupid and be a bitch, and you can kind of get by and survive. You know, not well, but you can kind of get by. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it's gonna hit the fan. That's gonna be the first ones to go. Oh, of course. And it's the first ones to go. Now, you mean you're dumb and a bitch? And there goes 90% of the population right there on planet Earth right now, or in the United States. 90%, boom, gone. You can't be, you can't be a bitch and be dumb. Because a whole lot of motherfuckers out there dumb. And most motherfuckers are bitch. I agree. Boat. I don't want a boat. I want you to have a boat. I don't, I don't want to have a boat. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't want to own a boat. <laughs> like when I when I when I hung out with guys that like owned the boat, like when I had helped Joe get his boat ready to go out, um, I was kind of like, "Fuck this!" Like I'm not even having to pay for this boat, and I don't want to do it just because I got to do this part. Yeah, that's for the birds. You know, like taking care of it, cleaning it up, and just holler at me when you're going and, out. Right? Like, how about this? You going to the river this weekend? <laughs> You know, I'm gonna go with you, and then you'll handle all that later. Nice, that's why I like it. I've heard so many people say that too. It's not that much fun owning a boat, but it's a ton of fun having friends that have boats. It's that's why key. if I ever buy a boat, if you want to go out with me on the boat, you have to help me with the other stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everybody's like, I don't, you know how many people I'm having on that boat with me? Goose egg! <laughs> and not even my wife and kids will be on the boat. It'll just be me in it's the like, river on a boat. It's going to be like, looking. hey, y'all want to go out on the boat this weekend? I need you to sign that. Like, <laughs> like, you're obligated to help. <laughs> Damn, that was good prop work right there. Man. That was good. Nice, just man. seeing that. There you go. Sign that. You're going to help me with this boat. You're going to help me with the maintenance. <laughs> going to the fights. We're going to the fights. We're going to Tupelo to knock out somebody's lights. Made that up. You can probably tell. It's okay then. I don't get paid to sing. I get paid to bang. Y'all oh, go to me. Now go back and bang. Yeah. The only people I can let in is Jacob Wesley and the two fighters right now. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we are, guys. Here we are. Whoa, man! You're just gonna flip me off out of the blue for no reason like that? <laughs> Would y'all fight somebody in a G-string? Look if they were fighting a G-string. Both. Put it in your prison. Both y'all to wear Yeah. Another guy. That's some Greco-Roman wrestling. Yeah. They just you do it. <laughs> Good for you, man. Would you? No. That's like wearing a sweater right. thing. That's basically like a big job. I wouldn't want to wear that either. I wouldn't want to wear that either. Like I'm not saying like if like a fight occurred naturally and we were wearing G-strings, then I would be willing to fight somebody. That's a weird but, like, circumstance. They're like, hey, we want you to like put on this G-string, get on this stage, and fight this dude for like five hundred dollars. No. How much money are we talking? Fifteen hundred. No. He said fifteen. No. It's got to be more than I'm going to make fighting somebody regularly. Like a lot more. Like, like it's got to definitely have to be well over 20, 30 grand. Who you watch? He fights tonight. Oh, no, today. They're in the UK right now. Wow, it doesn't want that quick. Oh, the, uh, Patty the Batty. Patty knocked him out? Choked him out. Choked him out, yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> These freaking, these freaking Brits are. Is he from Britain? Yeah, Great Britain, England, whatever. I get him confused I with uh, Sean, the guy that uh, has like colored hair. Really? They just have stupid. They both have stupid haircuts, and they're both ostentatious. Ostentatious. That's a good word. I don't know what it means, but it's a good word. But they're both really loud and flashy. Okay. Is that derived from Austin Powers? Yes. That's exactly where it comes from. Okay. Yeah. That's I think it's more. I don't think we're pronouncing it right. Ostentatious. 
comes from Austin Powers. Is, is that is that the right way to say that? Ostentatious? Ostentatious? It's a problem when you start trying to sound smart and you're not. Well, the more you try to say it, you don't ever say it, then it's going to sound like It sounds weirder and weirder the more. Like, I was really confident when I said it at first, but now I'm pretty sure it's wrong. It's all right, so. Right. It does come from Austin Powers. It was invented after the, sh the spy who shagged me. I like gold member better with Beyonce. I mean, I'm not wasn't giving you a preference on which one I like the better. I'm telling you where the word when the word became a thing. I was telling you which one I like. I mean, I'm making it up, but I didn't say it came after my favorite of the Austin Power films, *The Spy Who Shagged Me*. Well, I feel like it is the greatest fan franchise in film history, though. I don't know about that. Austin awesome Power. Yeah. Name a, name a more iconic franchise. I feel like Fat Bastard needs his own spin-off. Okay. Star Wars? <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Austin Powers, Star Wars, which is more iconic. Austin Powers all day. People nowadays don't even know who Austin Powers is. I don't know if you know this or not, but that's kind of the joke I'm doing. <laughs> it's like the least iconic <laughs> franchise that's ever existed. It's like really dumb. Yeah. I, 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 just, I just, at first I didn't know you weren't in on the joke. Yeah. When you were like, maybe Star Wars? <laughs> I could tell you like got a little like what? <laughs> like are you an idiot? Like well I tell y'all the trick of the trade <laughs> with hand tapers. I shouldn't tell y'all this, especially with your first flight. So like it's so psychological most of the time when fighters are like, yeah, this thing is really tight. We'll take a, the scissors, and sometimes I'm actually loosening it. A lot of times, you just fool with it. We're like, all right, how's that? And they're like, oh yeah, that feels good. And you didn't do shit. You didn't do nothing. You just make you just making them feel better. get out there yeah. that's like the fun part like it's like kind of camp kind of sucks cutting weight sucks real bad always the waiting kind of sucks the and then you get in there and you get to have 15 minutes or nine minutes of just fun and then you got started all over <laughs> you know it's like this is the reward we're walking to the reward you know what I mean yeah it's not gonna be that way for a while Crush me. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, come on, ah! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Rest your city! Rest your city! Rest your city! Rest your city! Let's go, baby! I'm gonna hug you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
to make a decision of what kind of person you're going to be. And this is your moment. You understand? This is your moment. upset about that loss because like it was so close but also like I told him to make a decision who he wants to be win this round and he did it he went out there and dug deep and did it you know you can't really ask more from athletes than that to go in there and be relentless and aggressive take chances give it 110 percent you know what I mean like if they do that you can't be mad at them you know and I'm proud of how he performed
Hey, hey, that's how we do it. Hey, that's man. That's how we do it, baby. I taught them guys half the shit they know. I taught half of them that. Hey, so look, Jay Reed may be the black belt, but I'm the purple belt, okay? I want y'all to remember that. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't know half the shit they know. <laughs> this is the moment that's going to, you're going to decide what kind of man you're going to be. You got to make that decision right now. You're going to reach down and you're going to dig and you're going to finish, put him on his back and finish this fight or bust him up or you're going to lay down and you're going to quit. Now, I want you to tell me right now what kind of person you're going to be. You're going to go finish it. You understand? You're going to go finish it. He's done. Okay, but you got to make the decision. Who's Peter? Who's Justin Robinson? This is your moment. You get these moments once in a lifetime to make a decision of what kind of person you're going to be. And this is your moment. You understand? This is your moment. 